So welcome to Beards and Baseball. So I got a pretty sweet beard and we love talking about baseball. Now this past weekend was a pretty magical one for a certain third baseman. Or as Chuck Oliver in Atlanta Sports calls him, the magic third baseman. Chipper Jones had a glorious weekend and he capped it off on Sunday by hitting a three-run walk-off homer off Jonathan Papelbon to beat the Phillies 8-7. The Braves actually lost the first two games, and in the last game were able to come back from a 7-3 deficit in the bottom of the ninth because Chipper Jones, in his glorious swing from the left side of the plate, hit a bomb 420 feet. But that's not why we're talking about the Magic third baseman. No, no, no. You don't understand. On Friday, something happened with Chipper that was absolutely amazing. And on the heels of our latest episode talking about the Yadier Molina collision, I thought we'd highlight this now as well because it happened again. Chipper decided to round third base on a ball hit to the right side of the field. And as the throw came in, when Chipper was barreling down towards home, no, no other but a six foot four, 255 pound catcher by the name of Eric Kratz for the Phillies, who's filling in for Carlos Ruiz, was standing in the way. Now let's focus on this. Six four, 255. That's an NFL tight end. That's huge. And yet Chipper Jones, at 40 years old, decided to not uh, slide, not jump, not dive, not get out of the way, but go right straight, freaking through him. It was wonderful. So, more than just hearing about what I talk about, you need to actually watch the replay. So, click the link below to see the actual replay of the play that happened. Look at the picture. It was glorious. He was off of his feet. Now, unfortunately, Eric, Kraut, Eric Kratz, just like Yadier Molina, a little bit of a man. He could probably play hockey because he held onto the ball and Chipper was out. But it was a great weekend for Chipper Jones.